Our next guest is with a company that's been synonymous with color reproduction since the very first color movie. So we're talking about, obviously, some great history in the tech world and helping keep us happy as viewers. And, of course, we're talking about the company is Technicolor. Their director of global branding for Technicolor. Always a delight to have him with us is Doug Delore. Doug, welcome back into tomorrow. How are you? Doing great, Dave. Thanks for having me. It's always a pleasure. Here in Germany, you're always talking up some cool things, and the industry is kind of uh, waited with ba waiting with bated breath to see what else Technicolor is involved in lately right. and, and the kinds of certification things. We're going to talk about a lot of things, but first of all, let's talk about 4K and Technicolor's involvement with these Ultra HDs. Absolutely. Well, 4K came on big at January of this year, all the manufacturers coming out with 4K TVs. Right. But as a consumer, the problem is it's chicken and egg. If I buy this beautiful 4K TV, what am I going to show on it? Because yeah. there's not... 4K content available yet. Not unlike when HDTV first came out, of course. You know, we had HDTV and we had like two hours a week of programming in high def. Exactly. And then, of course, now everything, at least everything, should be in high def. Uh, and, and it eventually happens. So this is the issue now, too, then. Do Absolutely. We, do we have content? Yep. Well, the answer is we may not need content. What? So there's a new technology that we've developed. We uh, have partnered with Silicon Valley chip manufacturer Marseille. And what we've done is we've certified this process that takes your existing HD content, or 2K, and upconverts it into 4K, but does it in a way that's based on the Hollywood standards. Because as you mentioned, uh, yes. we have almost 100 years of working with studios, and those directors want to make sure that the color is perfect, that that image is perfect. So what our desire is is to bring that magic on the screen to your home. And there's other people out there who will upconvert but nobody else upconverts with the Technicolor 4K image certified. So we certify that upconversion. And what it does, you can put in your Blu-ray disc player on a source device like a Blu-ray disc or on your DVDs or on your uh, home DVR, and it upconverts that in the box itself. So when it shows up on your screen, you have true native 4K, near native 4K-like image. Wow. And you can't tell the difference. We have a demo going on right over here later on, swing by. Yeah. You cannot cool. tell the difference between native and 70% of the people are choosing ours is what they think is native because we clean up a lot of the ghosting or the yeah. you know, artifact elements and really fix the edges so it looks pure. And this is cool to be able to take, uh, at this point, I guess it's just a standard 1080p high def signal is, yep. is what you're working with. Correct. And do this up conversion, uh, again, going back to the earlier days of HD where some up conversion was taking place. A lot of it wasn't so successful. Correct. So you guys, of course, one would expect Technicolor would know how to do that, uh, would make it look that spectacular. And, and then as more 4K stuff becomes available, it's just there anyway. You've got the set. And, right. You know, so many manufacturers coming out with, with new uh, Ultra HD 4K TVs. I'm sure uh, as the next few months progress, many more manufacturers will come out with more and more exactly. of them. So the, the idea here now is we've got true Technicolor up-converting quality. Correct. And so consumers should look for our logo with the Technicolor logo, and it says 4K image certified. Ah. And we were announcing at IFA a brand new technology that takes that from the source device but actually puts it into the TV. So it can up-convert any source device inside the TVs, and we're working with some major manufacturers right now to get that rolling in the next weeks or months. Oh, very, oh, so, I'm, very I'm, exciting. I'm smelling CES time frame. We might uh, uh, learn a few things. Absolutely. Ah, the plot does thicken. Uh, who are your partners now with this technology then? Uh, we companies that you are working with that are saying, hey, we're on board. We want to do this. But the very first one was Toshiba, and it was announced earlier this year in the U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, on a Blu-ray disc player. And as a matter of fact, that's now starting to hit the stores this month Excellent. in the U.S. Um, we've got some other manufacturers that are going to be hitting Europe in weeks, literally. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't share it quite yet. Oh, uh, come on. I won't uh, tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> your viewers might. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> but um, we also have some major television manufacturers that we're talking with. So very soon Good. it's going to become the new standard. It'll almost be that third party. What Intel Inside's doing to computers, this is what Technicolor is doing for 4K. Oh, great analogy, too, right. because as, as consumers, we can all relate to that. You know, Absolutely. Seeing the Intel Inside sort of thing, we got the idea there. It's all about processing and, and giving us uh, that great experience. Right. And, of course, one would expect that from, from Technicolor as well. Color certification now. I bet you, you're talking to me off the air about that, and I want to make sure our audience knows why, what that is and why that's important as well. What's interesting is today you have more people looking at content on laptops, on their tablets, on their smartphones, you know, flying over here from the U.S. 
I was looking at a movie you know, on the laptop, and yeah. everybody around was. Sure. The problem is, when you stack those next to each other, the color is different from one to another to another, even within the same brand. Yeah. There's no standard out there. And it becomes a real issue when you're buying something online. So if your wife's going to buy a pair of red shoes for that dress and it doesn't match perfectly, you get it from Amazon.com or someone else, and you have to send it back because it wasn't the right color. Uh. So there's a lot of issues with color online, and it's a very difficult process. What we've done is we've created Color Certified. So what you see is what you get, and you can actually trust your eyes. And it's the exact same colors as it's this pink pen or purple pen, depending on how hot I'm getting. Yes, <laughs> he has it, one of our Into Tomorrow High Tech pens, yes. you see, that, that we give our guests, and they change color when they detect your body very, heat. So, very, very so, cool. But the point being is that in order to see something like this online for ordering purposes and so forth, you want to make sure it's a color you're looking you're Exactly. Looking so this color that you and I are seeing will show up that exact same color on the screen of your laptop, of your uh, tablet, if it's a Technicolor color certified product. Gotcha. Now, how does does that happen inside monitors? Does that happen from, from the content creator end? It, it happens inside the monitors. We've partnered with another company called Portrait Displays. Um, they're the leaders. They work at, with software with all the leading uh, monitor folks, and we certify that with them, and it goes through all the algorithms. And basically, they then go to the OEMs and the brands, and then we have the Technicolor brand that's that Intel inside, but for the color. Yeah. So what you see is what you get. Oh, loving it. Well, so there's a lot of cool stuff that's happening now and more cool stuff into tomorrow, which is why Absolutely. we have people like Doug on the show <laughs> to tease us, but also to let us know what's coming and to stay tuned. Technicolor.com slash certified Correct. is where you want to go and learn more about the kind of things Doug's been talking to us about on the program. And uh, will you commit to joining us again at CES? Absolutely. Because I'm getting the impression that you'll have even more news to share by then. Absolutely. Ah, got to love it. Doug Delore is the director of global branding for Technicolor, and uh, we've trusted them for, you said, over 100 years. Actually, which we turn 100 next year. 100 next year. So, wow. Yeah. Don't look a day over 80. That's no, amazing. I'm just teasing. It's amazing what that cream does. Yeah, it? exactly. <laughs> amazing. So do visit technicolor.com slash certified. When you hit us up at intotomorrow.com, we'll link you to Doug's site and all of our guests here at IFA in Berlin. Back with more from Berlin, Germany, and the Showstoppers press event as Into Tomorrow continues.